Once you get access to your new Cisco WebEx Control Hub, there are some initial settings that you need to do to set up your Cisco WebEx calling. These settings, located underneath the actual Services Calling tab, will allow you to set up some of the basic functionality you need to enable calling across your Cisco WebEx contract. When I click the Calling feature, it automatically brings me up and then I'm going to click the option for Service Settings. This feature then allows me to, of course, set some additional features here that needs to be set up to maintain some of the basic functionality. First thing I'm going to do is, of course, select a media on hold or a music on hold source. I'm going to go ahead and select my time zone to make sense for where I am located and where the bulk of my users will be located. I'm going to choose my date format and I'm going to choose my time format for devices and for user devices. If you want to choose your preferred language, you can do that as well. Secondarily, we can choose some dialing options. Of course, we can choose a routing prefix, meaning we can reserve specific numbers so they're not used in the dial plan. Additionally, we can also choose the length for that prefix. So I'm going to choose a four-digit dial plan. So changing the extension length, of course, is going to do this, but I have not set up any extensions yet, so therefore this change is not going to affect my current site. Choosing this option is capable to allow me to choose this feature specifically for my need. So obviously, I'm going to change this, and it says specify the digits to prepend to the digits. I'm going to just add a one here and then choose this option. Once I do that, my extensions will, of course, begin with 1000. So once I do this feature, I can do that, and it will set that feature there for me. My dialing digit, if you currently use a leading digit and you want to mimic that in your existing setting, you can do that as well. I'm going to choose the option for 9. I can enable some other functionalities like call transfer conference, as well as my caller ID and call voicemail settings. And then when I'm finished, I will hit the Save button. This allows me to then set my default selections for my calling and my capabilities for my Cisco WebEx calling subscription. Additionally, there's some options around client settings as well. If you have the ability or you want to adjust how people see uh, icons that show up, of course, in their client or on specific devices, this is where those changes are made. Additionally, it allows you to change some features around CUCM SIP ad addressing as well as URI calling and in-call experiences. These are the basic features that you need to enable to enable WebEx calling across your organization. Secondarily, you can also verify your licensing capability and make sure that your licenses are intact. Inside the Overview tab, you can go over here and take a look at your Manage Subscriptions tab. Under Manage Subscriptions, you will see your information and therefore you will see what's located and what you are currently licensed for and your usage around that license, specifically for your WebEx calling portfolio. I hope this video has been helpful. And for anything else, please refer back to help.webex.com. Have a great day.